Nightwing issue 49, Benjamin Percy writing, uh, the same artist as last time that I can't even begin to pronounce, uh, Amanke Nahulpin. Uh, I apologize for the butchering that, that, that I just I just did to your name. Uh, but also, yeah. you had a stroke mid sentence. So, <laughs> <laughs> stroke of dick, yes. Uh, so, <laughs> that this um, is the second part of this 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 wacky races um, in this you know Isle of Harm in Ireland, uh, where we left off last time with Silencer in hot pursuit. Uh, they're in the race. Press, Presser Pig's there. Um, Flamingo's there got your wacky characters, and I loved that there was more of that stuff where Pig was like, yep. I, I always it says, oh, Night Ham will be my best creation yet. That I, I cracked up at that line. It's it's always about Nightwing's butt. Like, always. he says he's gonna flip his pelvis, so he has to walk backwards to go forwards, and then I'm gonna take his, his eyes and put them... What was it? Was he gonna yeah. put his butt cheeks on his face? So like, your butt cheeks are great, yeah. but I'm gonna put them on your face. I believe that was a, a sentiment. And there yeah. somewhere. And over Chris's pelvis, so he has to walk backward to walk forward. His kidneys will take the place of his eyes, and his eyes will peek out from slits behind his knees. You can tell that Percy was just having a fun time right now. Oh, yeah, he's having a blast. Right. And every, everything with Silencer as well, I, I really like. I like that she's not, no, I'm here to save you. Like, uh, Leviathan's after you, and I'm trying to take them down, so I'm, I'm using you as bait to get which, the assassin. Which I like that that plays into the history with uh, with with Grayson yeah. and Spiral and, and and all that because it would make sense that they'd want to get this foreign agent. But it all you know, it also lines up completely with her book and what she's doing with with yep. uh, Talia and Leviathan and um. But you know, Dick's like, hey, don't play by the rules. Don't just kill everyone involved. Right. It also, I had a lot of fun when she says, "I'm the silencer," and he's like, "Yeah." what you like silent movies you do this you do... and she just snaps her finger she does the thing and he's in a bubble and she fires a gun and everything and he's just like uh-huh and it's just like you know, a couple of silent panels and then she like you know does the shush and like everything comes back he's like ah i get it and then he's like hey can i hire you and then in the narration oh i'd hire her to follow around damien all over the planet the world would thank me for <laughs> yep <sighs> oh that really made me laugh I also, also like that scene in the bar that i completely missed last time mm-hmm. um I like how she was aiming through him. So that poor spider face guy just yeah. happened to be, you know, collateral damage. But, um, but yeah, you can kind of tell that he was setting stuff up here and it's kind of a shame that we're not going to get the rest of oh, it. Oh yeah. You know, by far but, that is the worst thing about this issue is that I love it. And it kind of hurts knowing that we've got one left with Percy and then it's, that's that, that's the run done. It was one arc essentially or two arcs. So, um, and then that's it done. And that's a real shame because I want more of this Percy run. I really do. Um, I've loved it the most by far out of everyone on the show. But I, I think these last two issues have been have been really great and really diving into the fun stuff that I think Dick really lends himself to. Um, everything about jumping from bike to bike. Uh, you know, pig having a flying bike. Flamingo. You know, being knocked off and all the rest of it. <laughs> Him throwing dollatrons at them, like. Yeah, that's his weapon. Is he's just throwing them well, out? Like when I said it was like wacky races with like you know uh, Dick Grayson characters, I wasn't kidding. It really is. <laughs> no. Um, even a little bit of Mario yeah. Kart in there with the the weird you know race you know the the, the race track and stuff, and eventually yeah. obviously he wins the race. Silencer helps him win, and the he meets the 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 Celtic god or whatever. I, I'm not even trying to say his name. Connor's not here. He, he, yeah, he... I'm looking this up right now. It looks like it's. Uh, there's no. Pron- I'm looking for the pronunciation. Kemal Kinnis. Uh, yeah, Kiel McKinnis. Kiel McKinnis. But he's basically he's the god of paths. You know, a lot like yeah. uh, there's Roman gods like that. So I like that, and he lives in like this nexus, and he really can't get involved. But he's like, you got to ask me the right question. Yeah, uh, and, and you he, feel like he gives Dick three three tries. You know, like, and, he, and he's basically like, okay, can you stall for him? And he's like, that's the right question. He's like, I'll let them think they've hacked into me. Well, you can go and try and save the day. Uh, so that's basically how we end. What's funny is that is the next time at the bottom of the last page says, "Oh, uh, Nightwing returns to Gotham in Batman Fifty Five and get the fallout of that in Fifty. But what I think is weird is no, we have to have the end of this story though, right? Where he goes to save his friends yeah. first. So. We'll see. Yep. We'll see what happens. But um, so it seems like the the initial kind of like Dick's, you know, been been shot as might might be in Nightwing issue fifty. Because mm-hmm. keep in mind, Nightwing issue fifty is going to be oversized as well. So we're getting a big right. oversized issue from Percy. Uh, but that'll be the last one. So I hope I hope he has some kind of like farewell feeling to it, even though it's kind of an unplanned last issue. Yeah. 
Hopefully he can he can swing that. I think. But no, nah, that is the the worst thing about this issue is that knowing that we're going to lose Percy in an issue's time, and then Liddell's on the book. That is by far the worst thing about it. Yeah. Uh, I love yeah. this wacky races two par. Loved it. So there you go. Yeah, Ark was pretty pretty solid. Too. Yeah, Ark's good yeah. as well. Uh, I will Ar- say the variant is atrocious. It's got that. Uh, it's not. It's not. Uh, GRGR, but it looks very GRGR. His Nightwing's face is yeah. is a, an abomination to all mankind. I, th- I think it's Chris Mooneyham. Um, let me check. Sounds sounds about right. Oh, no, no, it was yeah, it was GRGR. Was it? Oh, it's actually GRGR. Okay, yeah. in that case, I would track my statement. It is. it is just GRGR, and he yeah. has atrocious faces. <laughs> yeah, but we, you know, thinking that it was Mooneyham, it's Mooneyham's very GRGR. So, he's better than GRGR yeah. though. Yeah, true. He's he's, he's the lesser evil. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All right, what are you giving? We giving Nightwing forty nine, Matt. Um, this is a pretty solid. I give it a seven point five. Yeah, okay. Uh, um, eight point five for me. I, I, yeah, I was really into this wacky races two par. Uh, I'm, I'm loving it.